Hello, beloved believers, may you always remain steadfast with us on this channel that presents inspiring stories. On this occasion, we have prepared a wise story to increase our faith. Before that, let's support this channel by liking and subscribing. Click the bell too, so you can receive more useful content. Ibn al-Mukafa was an Islamic scholar and writer who lived during the 8th century in Basra, Iraq. He was known for his work as a translator and an author of several books, including the famous, The Book of Animals, Kitab al haywan Ibn al-Mukafa was born in a wealthy family in the city of Abbas, Persia, now Iran, and received an excellent education. He studied various fields of knowledge, including religion politics, ethics, and literature. He became fluent in Arabic, Persian, and Greek, which helped him in his later work as a translator. One of his most significant contributions to Islamic literature was his translation of Kalila wa Dimna, a collection of fables and tales that originated in India. Ibn al-Mukafa translated the book into Arabic and added his commentary making it popular among the Muslim scholars and general public. Ibn al-Mukafa also wrote several other books on various subjects, including politics, history, and ethics. However, his most famous work is The Book of Animals, which became a standard reference for zoological knowledge for centuries to come. The Book of Animals is a comprehensive work that covers various aspects of the animal kingdom including their physiology, behavior, habitats, and uses. It is divided into 10 chapters, each dedicated to a specific category of animals, such as birds, insects, and reptiles. The book also contains descriptions of imaginary creatures, such as the phoenix and the griffin, which reflect the influence of Persian and Greek mythology on Islamic culture. Ibn al-Mukafa's work on zoology is considered a milestone in the development of Islamic science and literature. Ibn al-Mukafa's influence was not limited to his writings. He was also an active member of the Abbasid court in Baghdad where he served as a diplomat and an advisor to the caliph. He was known for his political astuteness, and his efforts to promote justice and tolerance in the society. Ibn al-Mukafa's works were widely read and appreciated during his lifetime, and continued to be popular among Muslims and non-Muslims alike. His contribution to the Islamic Golden Age in science and literature is significant, and will continue to inspire future generations of scholars and writers. In conclusion, Ibn al-Mukafa was an accomplished Islamic scholar and writer, who left a lasting legacy in the fields of literature, zoology, and politics. His work on the Book of Animals remains an essential source of knowledge on the subject, and his translation of Kalila wa Dimna is still read and enjoyed by millions around the world. A story that hopefully will be a lesson for us, don't forget to leave your comment and subscribe to this channel, so that you can get more interesting stories in the future. Thank you and see you in the next content.